Hello, I'm Megan Collier and I'm running for Area 7. I am running for the school board as I realize we have a lot of politics that have crept into these, our lives, our children's lives, and we need to change how that's affecting our children. We need to put all of that aside, make decisions for our community, for our school, that is gonna set up these children for success. Successful children are going to ultimately positively impact our uh, community. We need to concentrate on this, and if we put our energy into this, we will become successful in building a great community for our home, for our future children and grandchildren. Thank you. My name is Jenny Reed, and I am running for Area 7 in the Rapid City Area School District. There are a few reasons that I'm running for Area 7 on the school district. However, I want to make something very clear. Area 7 does need new representation. I would like to be the voice that connects with the school teachers, the school staff, and the school kids and their families. I would like to be that direct connection between those groups of people in the school board. If we want to attract people to live here in Rapid City who have long-term invested careers, we need to have a solid, strong educational support system. That support system needs to include good communication between school staff, teachers, families, and the school board. I would like to be that voice. Another good reason, important reason, for a strong educational foundation is to keep the current youth that grew up here in the school district to keep them being a part of the Rapid City School District. Another reason the educational system is important is for the youth that grew up in the school district and that are here now, a part of our communities now. We want to retain and keep them here in the community and have them become a thriving part of the school system. How can we do that without a strong foundation in our educational system? My name is Kate Thomas. I am currently on the school board. I'm running in Area 7. It is one of the largest areas, um, but mostly rural. Um, I have two reasons I'm really running. One, without um, myself pushing for more dyslexia awareness in those last three years, um, there wouldn't even be an awareness. Uh, it was a dirty word for a while. And there's a huge education gap, learning gap, that I think can be overcome because one in five kids have dyslexia. If we were to have the assessments we need and the curriculum we need, or tutors being allowed into the schools to be able to teach these kids the way that they need to learn, uh, or professional development for teachers to teach uh, an Orton-Gillingham-based curriculum uh, that would absolutely give these kids confidence in their reading. We would get those scores up, reading by third grade, etc., and then all the way through giving them the confidence to do, uh, to finish high school. I also want parents to be, uh, to know their rights. They don't seem to, they, they try to navigate the school system and they don't know who to talk to to make sure their kid gets tested. Um, a while ago, um, myself, when my kids were at Rapid Valley, it was very hard to get anybody to actually test them. I didn't know I had the right to say, no, you test them. Parents don't know this, this and many other things, so one of my priorities for the next year would be to get a parental handbook uh, so that they can know how to navigate um, and, and talk and know what their rights are. So education is key to the economic development of Rapid City or anywhere. Part of what I think is helpful that the district has going for it already is this new Pathways program for the high school students. They uh, are partnering with Monument Health right now and Black Hills Energy, but they want many other little businesses to help out with um, giving those kids internships, you know, um, just following along with a lot of the kids and giving them an empowerment to know that they can um, get a job right out of high school. Not all kids. Um, go straight to college or even know what they're doing when they go to college. A lot of times education, the word education means college or something, some studying, when actually it could just be learning how to weld. It could be uh, learning um, pottery, you know, working with your hands in some way. And a lot of times, you know, those, those plumbers, those electricians are really heroes as well because when you need them, you need them. These are things that kids can have straight out of high school. 
uh, and I want them to feel um, that they are confident enough in what they are planning to go into, whether it is college, whether, it, whether it's um, small business, whether it's the hospital or medical work, I want them to feel empowered and they will, I think, through this new Pathways program.